This is where the smell's coming from. Be ready for anything, guys. Hold on, Morgana. I had to hydrate. Out of this warm-ass water. Is this some kind of birdcage? What is this doing here? And where's Alice? She doesn't seem to be here. Hey, hey, look! Is that a treasure? No. I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure. <sighs> Everyone, hide! Shadows ahead. Oh. What are they doing here? Have you brought all the desires? Yes, sir. It's all of them so far. Desires? Yeah, I was gonna say, that's the moon that they were looking at. More are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, Understood sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires. Yeah, they're the same as what we saw the other day. This is the boss room? Is this? Oh, you can tell by the stripper pole. Are we supposed to go and like Wait, snort that go? or something? all that they said they were bringing desires here right mm. so those jewels are the desires they looked like they got sucked up into that light there's no question that treasure like shimmering up there that's the desire that's oh us. we did hear alice was collecting them but that was a pile of gems how come they turned into that shimmery thing just You're correct, Jamie. You are correct. Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. Remember, Jamie, this is going to be a YouTube video. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, <laughs> people may well return to normal. Yeah, that's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? Corrupt footage. We use a calling card, yeah. A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Ryuji, you idiot. No! Are you okay? I didn't know that was gonna happen, but uh, I'm glad it did. What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I hearing something? Sophie, wait! Did you just go away? What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She's like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. I didn't hurt to look at her. <laughs> <laughs> that you heard it too a memory hidden by the monarch honestly we don't know anything about this character other than her being annoying and just straight up evil you know like what happened to her sophie are you all right no problem here however i did figure something out that memory we heard is the key to the barrier how's that this cage is currently locked you're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key. 
which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Ah. Reality? Why is that? You will soon. If you get the chance, you'll fight a boss while listening to it. What? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but how is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but... Didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be! Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Yeah. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm getting ready to cut... Uh... Uh, write the calling card. What the what? How are there no results? Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit even you can't find, Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. But why? This is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. But isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Maku-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Wait, she's actually in this game? Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not going to fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, Answer me! Ah, uh, okay. Alice Aragi's school. Oh. Oh, she's actually a lawyer. It's, it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm PubSec, not just some cop detect. Wait, I'm not shady. Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? I don't even see him as a Gramps. I just see him as, uh, trying to be cool, but is failing. So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Hiragi went to school, right? Yeah. But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. I guess you got me there, Jamie. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiraki. Especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I'm swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Well, no, nope, my good. bad. We'll handle it on our own. Yep. 
Just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great, happy to help. But wait, come on now. This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. <laughs> Fine. I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. Hmm. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no. Everyone's senpai but yours. Damn. I'm calling him out like that. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it. Because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. You're really just a button press away? Why haven't you done it, man? Why aren't you, like, breezing through the game? It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. I feel that. I've been on that near grind. All we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go. And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. With that settled. Let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy. Well, this game is fun, and the story is finally starting to pick up in some sort of direction mm. here. I do miss the freedom. It kind of just like it tells you along in one direction, and and that's it. Like you gotta do what they want you to do. You know, sound effects are pretty interesting. Shujin Academy. I never would have thought we'd be going back there under these circumstances. If we're entering the jail through Shujin, we have no idea what we'll find on the other side. Let's make sure we're all good with the supplies and equipment before diving in. Once you're ready, you should join up with everyone at the hideout. That way, we can all go to Shujin together. It's a spin-off. I know. I mean, it is a spin-off. That's, that's literally what it is. Wait, so what are we supposed to do? Prepare and head to the hideout. Okay. Oh, shit. Is that Colton? My buddy, Colton? <laughs> What's going on, man? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna save up points on this shit. Damn it. Oh, is this for the boss fight? Shit. Ah. Uh, I guess I. Uh, I should write something. I should probably save the game. Oh, thanks, man. That's great. My buddy let me uh, borrow Miles Morales and Demon Souls, and I haven't touched either one of those. I did not get it from Jamie. I 100% did not. Can I not, uh... Oh, there we go. I keep seeing you logging on and off as soon as you got it. Oh, I was probably adjusting some stuff. Let's get to work. Okay. Items. I need healing items, because I've been fucking myself in the ass when it comes to this shit. 20 HP, 50 HP, 100 HP, okay. There's not a lot in stock, what the fuck? You've been what, senpai? Oh, I've just been setting stuff up. Hmm... I guess it wouldn't hurt to, like, buy everything I can. Restock after time passes? Damn, bro. I'll just buy everything. I'll even buy this. There we go. Uh, should I get anything else? Do I need anything else? I don't think I've got- I've not gotten an accessory. I guess I can get something. Oh, bro, you know it. As long as you're involved, 100%. 100% on that one. 
Uh, we'll reduce physical damage, I guess. Oh, I can sell shit. I forgot. I've got all this junk here. She does not need to ask me every time. Are you sure? But whatever. Soda review, but instead of drinking it, I pour it over my body? Bro, perfect. Now we're really on to something. Jamie, go watch our LEGO Star Wars series on, uh, on my YouTube channel. It's worth it. it Absolutely worth it. And this goes to anybody that's watching this. Just, just go and see it. It's absolutely great. Alright, I think we're done there. I think I'm as ready as I can be now. I'll just add this. I don't know if it's the best content you'd see all year, but it's definitely some content. Let me go, uh, let me go get, like, a drink. I need to uh, drink the rest of this soda. Uh, I need to get something else to drink that's better for me. Bro, you knew me when I was close to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And now we're close to six, right? I think we're, I think we're coming up on six. Nah, Colton, you're wrong. You're wrong. I'll be right back. Oh my god. God damn it, I forget that Colton can message me on here. It's a sneaky way of uh, getting involved. The horny Grisaia videos? Oh, absolutely, bro. You know it. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. Please don't, Colton. <laughs> I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. Think this is what would bring me back here. Getting nostalgic, it hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, let's pop in and see what's up. I may have graduated from here, but it still feels wrong to go in without permission. Permission granted. I'm still a student here, you know. Thanks, Jamie. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. There's a VIP role? I don't remember that. Actually, wait, didn't Twitch in it, like integrate something like that? I forget. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. Oh, trust me, anime is the best depiction of a classroom. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? Well, now I guess I have to hydrate. No, I, I'd never do that. I did get this uh, off-brand Gatorade. Orange flavor. What? What is this? God, you're just... Why are you still alive? Oh, damn. It's just cold. It's off-brand Gatorade. It's Costco brand. Don't ask these questions. You already know the answer, Colton. Nah, it's Kirkland Sports Drink. Do us a favor. And die already. Jesus. Jesus. 
This is creepy as fuck. What the fuck? What the hell? Careful, here it goes. Please don't tell me we're fighting in this cramped ass room. Okay, thank God. Can't you get it through your thick skull? No one wants you around. Oh shit, what the hell is going on? This thing just flipped out out of nowhere. The room's also changed. As these prison cells. No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. You died to this boss six plus times, bro? Oh no. You should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movements and respond in time. Okay. I'll definitely play this smart. Or at least that's what I'm gonna say. Oh, what the fuck? Uh-oh. Man, I'm trying. Ah. It is really hard to like, uh, like listen to what they're saying. It's really difficult to. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my attack's up. Nice. Yo, uh, I need to heal. Okay, thank God. Hey, Colton, you know your currency. Nice. Uh oh. I don't like it when he does his spins. Oh, oh. Nice, nice, nice. This is so stupid. Why do you... Why do you learn it during the fight? Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, ha, ha. I mean, we're doing so far so good in this fight. The no pushover. This to win. Uh, not yet, not yet. Uh, what the fuck? Where'd you go? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Aha. Ooh, okay, so far so good. God damn it. Until they up his attack and one shots you? Oh no. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Alright, I guess I'm on now. And her whip. Which, uh, you know, I don't want to be her. I need her to automatically heal me when the time is right. We're getting a lot of XP and shit, though. Oh, there he is. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, nope, never mind. Yeah, it is, Colton. Whoa. It in it. Not, why does the camera do that shit? Nice. Nice, bro. All right. I'll play as uh, Haru a little bit here. And back to Joker. Colton, do you even know what anime is? 
That's the real question. Alright, halfway through here. There we go. There we go. Oh, showtime. Nice. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Let's watch some Boko no Pico, Colton. Come on over. I'll throw it up on the big TV, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh shit, they're talking. There were some truly terrible things said in the classroom as well. I believe why Alice drove so far to wipe the records of the time. Okay, can you guys talk about the story more, please? <laughs> Apparently this is where the story development takes place. Oh yeah, he is weak to fire. Too bad Ryuji used a lot of his SP, and so did uh, so did On. Ah! Oh. I cannot read chat, by the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Aha. Oh shit. Kill the pixies. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's our bitch at? There he is. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's do this. Uh oh. Back it up, back it up. Oh man, I haven't heard that word in a while. Monko. Honestly, like, this is actually a pretty fun fight. Like, I'm, I'm digging it. It's not, it's not too difficult. As long as you keep your distance and everything, and you know it's attack patterns, and you aren't being stupid, all is well. Oh, uh, there's story development going on. Sorry. I don't know what's happening in the story. Why are they talking right now? This should, okay, I think this is it. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. It. Hang on. Something's up. Oh. Uh. Interesting. That's just it. I don't have a gaming chair. Nice. We got a lot of PP for that one. Oh, look, a new move. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the warden guarding the key. Hell yeah. A warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Oh, hello. Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. 
Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. But, like, are we for sure ready to go? Like, do we know for a fact that we can enter? Because I don't. Okay, all that's left to send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after These the notes. desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized. Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. It is Colton. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. This is true, Jamie. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... If you guys are all up for it... Yeah, I want to beat some ass. And yes, Jamie, this is, this is true. I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? I wouldn't know. I was busy fighting. It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. Remember guys, don't put your dick in crazy. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady on. Please trust me on this. I'm being serious, don't do it. Speak too soon. I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Tight. Hey. 
Is there anything you forgot to do? Make sure you get everything wrapped up by tonight. Once we send the calling card, there's no backing out. Well, now then, we will uh, send the calling card and fight Alice or whatever we got to do against Alice in the next episode. In the next session, I guess. Thank you all for stopping by the stream, for watching on YouTube, whatever. Colt and Jamie, thank you for coming out. Seriously, thank you. And uh, we on that PS5 grind now, boys. I wasn't lying. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy shit. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.